Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about sunscreens. It's super sunny and hot outside, so I'm probably a little bit late to the game, but I know a lot of you are out there looking for new sunscreens to purchase. So I've got my all-time favourites, a couple that I've also got in my cupboard as well that I'm going to show you, and I've got some chemical versions and some mineral versions. If you are new here and you love skincare, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and you can also ring the bell if you would like to be notified every time I upload a new video. Sunscreen Sunscreen is so important in skincare. A lot of my friends ask me to help them create a skincare routine and everyone is all up for trying the retinol or the exfoliating acids or a nice sheet mask and all of those things are really, really great. But a lot of people really just don't want to wear a sunscreen every day. They often want to get a tan in the summer or they feel like they live somewhere where there's not enough sunshine to warrant wearing one in the first place. But even if you live somewhere that's mostly cloudy, like here in the UK, you still do need to wear sunscreen every day. First of all, sun damage is the main cause of aging in the skin. So if you want to keep your skin looking healthy, then sunscreen is the best thing that you can possibly do. And obviously, in addition, sunscreen will protect you against skin cancer, which is something that we should all be wary of. So when it comes to choosing the right sunscreen, the main thing that you want is something that you're comfortable to slather on your face every single day. And that's actually quite difficult to find because everyone's got different requirements of what they want and expect from a sunscreen. Some of them can be too heavy and cause people to break out. Some of them can make people's skin tones look ashy and white and ghostly. Or some of them might cause sensitivity on the skin. I'll get started with the mineral versions which are particularly good for people with sensitive skin. I recently did a video on the best skincare products and how to create a skincare routine if you have got sensitive skin which I will link up above. Mineral versions tend to be slightly better if the skin is a little bit more sensitive because sometimes the chemical versions can cause the skin to sting and obviously when it's hot and sweaty things can melt and move around so sometimes it does go in your eyes a little bit and sting. So if you are more on the sensitive side then you definitely should look out for the mineral versions. The only downside to them is that they can be a little bit white and chalky and it's hard to find the right formula with a really nice cosmetic finish but I've got a couple of favourites that are really really good. Clinique Mineral Sunscreen Fluid for Face is such an excellent mineral sunscreen. This is one of the first sunscreens that I started using religiously and I didn't even realise that it was a mineral sunscreen. When I first started using sunscreens on my face I actually didn't know the difference between a mineral version and a chemical version. I used to just use sunscreen. So the fact that this is a mineral version is really good because I feel like it has a really nice lightweight formula. It's not too heavy, not too greasy, not too chalky and it melts into the skin very very nicely. And being that it's from Clinique where all of the products are fragrance free it really is a good option for sensitive skin types and at £20 in the UK it's a really good price point. I will link it down below with a link for the UK, Europe and also a separate link where you can purchase it in the US or Canada. Now any of you that watch my videos all the time will know that I've been using this a lot recently. This is a reasonably new purchase for me but I really, really like it. I did a full review on it where I applied it to my face which I will also link down below. It's the Purito Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50 PA++++. Now this is a 100% physical and non-nano sunblock. So another name for mineral sunscreen is also physical sunscreens. So sometimes you might see physical or mineral but they both mean the same thing. Korean skincare really wins when it comes to sunscreens. I think that's the thing that they excel at most. So in addition to this mineral version, I've also got some chemical versions which I'll talk about next. Actually, before I go into the chemical versions, I just want to show you this one that I have here which is also a mineral sunscreen. This is SPF 30. It's by Dr. Jackson's and it's the Day Cream SPF 30. Now I wanted to quickly mention this because Dr. Jackson's is an all natural brand. So if you are particularly interested in something that comes from one of the more kind of like natural brands, then this is a really good option. The only thing I will say is it doesn't, if you apply it liberally, which I recommend that you do, it does kind of uh, peel a little bit under makeup. I've noticed that with my concealer. I think most people under apply sunscreen, which if that's the case, then it probably doesn't peel as much, but because I do apply it properly, um, that's the only thing that isn't ideal about this. 
But if you don't particularly wear much makeup, then this is absolutely fine. Now it looks completely white when it first goes on, but it sinks into the skin so well, and it gives like a really, really, really nice dewy finish. And I have to say, for a mineral version, it's um, it's not white at all. Obviously, it is only SPF uh, 30 and not SPF 50, but that is still a good rating, and it's definitely kind of the minimum that you should be looking for. But it will offer protection, and you. Can can see now it's completely kind of absorbed into the skin and left no white cast so that's a really good all natural version. Now moving on to the chemical versions which are my personal favourite because I feel like they are the lightest formulas, they don't leave any white cast on the skin and they're easy to use. Now my skin isn't super sensitive but it can get a little bit sensitive sometimes and I found a good selection of chemical versions that don't irritate my skin and generally broad speaking they don't irritate most people's skin. The first one I'm going to mention is by La Roche-Posay and it's easy to get anywhere in the world. Now the names vary slightly in different countries and I know the price points do as well. The one that I'm used to using is the La Roche-Posay and Thelios XL SPF 50 which is the most lightweight lovely formula and it comes in lots of different versions. So I just use the regular version but it also comes in an oil-free version and it also comes in an anti-shine version as well. Unfortunately Unfortunately, it seems to be a bit more expensive in the US than it is here in Europe, which is a shame. But I even think that in the US, based on the quality of the formula, the studies behind this, La Roche-Posay is such a big company that they're able to put lots of research into the products that they make and they generally are to the best standards. So all in all, I think that that is a really good readily available sunscreen that has a really nice cosmetic finish and comes in lots of different versions depending on your skin type. Now I'm going to talk about the Korean versions which are really, really exciting because the first time that I tried this Korean sunscreen, it just blew my mind. I'd never tried a Korean sunscreen before and it was just like nothing else. That's the Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence SPF 50 PA++++. I've also got a review on that somewhere which I will link in the description box so you can see me apply it to my face. I haven't got it with me right now but it's definitely one of the best chemical sunscreens that I've ever used. It's such a lightweight gel formula. It's not sticky, it's not drying, it's not heavy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's absolutely brilliant. It's even good value for money. So I definitely recommend that as one of the best chemical sunscreens ever. Now, earlier I mentioned this mineral version from Purito. They also have chemical versions as well. The Purito Centella Green Level Unscented SPF 50 PA++ plus plus is another excellent one. I've also got a review where I try this on, which I will link down below. That is a really nice lightweight, but slightly more moisturizing version of the one from Claire's that I mentioned before. It still doesn't leave any stickiness or any white cast on the skin, but it's a little bit more moisturizing. So I would say that that is better for more dehydrated to dry skin types. The version that I used in my review is the scented version, so it has got a slightly herbal smell to it, which I didn't mind too much, but now they have got the unscented version, so I recommend that you get that one. Another one that I happen to have here that actually isn't one of my favourites, but it is a very good and very, very popular Korean chemical sunscreen. It's the Biore UV Watery Essence SPF 50 PA++. Plus, plus. The reason why I don't love this so much is because um, I feel like it has the potential to irritate the skin and it also um, seems to have a lot of alcohol in. Now alcohol isn't always a bad thing in your skincare. Sometimes it can kind of balance a formula so that all of their active ingredients are able to be delivered within the skin without causing any kind of greasiness or pilling or anything like that. But um, depending on your skin type, you might prefer to avoid drying alcohols. And in that case, this isn't for you. But if you live in a hot, humid climate and you happen to have perhaps oily skin, then this might be a good option. I've just put some on my hands now and it's literally, I mean, it just disappears instantly. It's the, 
It's very similar to um, the Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence, which I mentioned before, but this, I would say, is like one step lighter. But definitely you do have to sacrifice the fact that it has got um, alcohol in because of that. Another good chemical one that I happen to have here, which I will show you and talk about, is the Paula's Choice Resist Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid SPF 50, which is a really nice chemical sunscreen. Like the others, it's also um, very light. It's not as light as the, um, as the Korean versions, I will say that, but it is still very, very light. The only thing I will say about this is, um, just see, I'm just gonna rub it into my arm absorbs very nicely. Now they do say that this is for normal oily combination skin. Now even though this does have a very lightweight formula, I would say that it's still quite moisturising on the skin. So if your skin is particularly oily then this might, I would say, be a little bit too heavy. I think that it's better for like normal to dehydrated skin rather than a combination or oily skin. So those are my recommendations for mineral and chemical sunscreens that work very, very well. They're high performance, they have a great finish on the skin and none of them are too expensive. I'm always on the lookout for new recommendations so please let me know what your favourite sunscreen is in the comments below and if you've tried any of the ones that I've recommended today then please let me know what you think of them yourself. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.